I love it. Okay, so my magazine is called Space Out. Okay, the purpose of my magazine, the purpose of my magazine is to inform the audience on the genre of sci-fi. My magazine will focus on more of the subgenre of space, focusing on the intergalactic aspect. I find it will be entertaining for the readers to understand how sci-fi films are made with special effects and with the help of creative directors. I believe it is going to make the readers appreciate the work done behind the scenes and hopefully draw more members of the public to watch sci-fi films. My magazine will be paperback and online. This is because it can reach more of a larger audience. The print magazine will be around 80 pages long, which will include adverts to make the brand income. The magazine will have a glossy finish as it will be com complementary to the genre of space. The price of the magazine, the paperback magazine, will be £3.99 as it will include a lot of content and entertainment. The print magazine will include photos of the actors on set of the movies, photos of behind the scenes and photos of the film premiere, premiere on the record. The online magazine will be £4.99. The reason why it's more expensive is because not only does it include all the same content, there is extra videos of behind the scene of the filmmaking and exclusive interviews with the actors featuring in the new upcoming films. Additionally, it will give sneak peeks of new films. Okay, the genre. The genre of my magazine is sci-fi, focusing on more of the subgenre of intergalactic. This is because I find that is an interesting way of creating films and what goes on behind the scenes to achieve such a real effect. In this magazine, it will include exclusive interviews with famous actors and actresses featuring in sci-fi films such as David Tennant, Will Smith, Harry Fisher, and many more. There will be advertising such as beauty products, cars, and TV shows that will be targets, targeted at the older audience, for example, 18 plus, which is like 18 to 35. It will also include film recommendations that have high reviews and is favorited by the general public. There will be a list of the top 10 sci-fi. It will have advertisement for books related to sci-fi. I have advertisements for books related to sci-fi to interest those who prefer to read. There will be QR codes on the advertisement to take the audience to the website and get exclusive on offers in, inside the magazine. Target audience. Target audience, like I said, is 18 plus, 18 to 35. This is because it will have information to entertain a more of a mature audience. Additionally, the actors that feature in sci-fi movies are more well known by the older generations, so it will be more engaging for them to read. Having this target audience will allow me to focus on the information I'm putting across and will be tailored to focus on their needs. Resources, obviously I need a camera, needed to take photos for the magazine, a computer to create the magazine and write up the content needed for the magazine, costumes and props that will be featured in the magazine and this will be used to make the person of the front cover look, they, look like they are part of a sci-fi film which will help the audience identify what the magazine is about straight away. Then I'll need a photoshop and this will be used to edit photos and lay out the magazine a double page spread in an effective way to make it look better. Personal, personal. I need a photographer, someone to take the photo professionally so it looks better and will be more appealing for the audience. I need an editor so it will make the magazine look better and more professional and can stand out from the rest. I need a graphic designer to finish the final touch ups and make the magazine perfect. I need a printing company, obviously to print the magazine. 
so they can put in supermarkets, news agents, and a social media team which will be useful as it can manage the online magazine and watch out for the monthly subscriptions and how much money online magazine makes monthly. Distribution. The magazine can be found in supermarkets, news agents, and I at the front of the cinema and stuff like that. The online magazine can be accessed by simply searching up the magazine's website, which I need to figure out what that is. Okay, my marketing methods is to market my magazine, I will put posters up at busy cinemas, in the window, supermarkets. Additionally, online advertisement for my magazine will have a large impact, for example, pop-up ads on social media and on other adverts. Um, I will also pay influencers to promote the magazine and website, and if people sign up to our website and subscribe, emails will be sent out for exclusive offers monthly to keep the audience engaged online so we don't lose their interest. The title of my magazine is spaced out. These are the two fonts for the title of my magazine. Okay, my font styles. In my magazine, it will be sans serif font. This is because it is easier to read and make the magazine look more aesthetically pleasing. Additionally, it makes the magazine have more of a modern feel and that links to the genre of my magazine, which is sci-fi, which has a futuristic feel to it. Sans serif fonts is clean and minimal, which will be attractive to the target audience. Freezer font. How's that on freezer? This presentation is going on. Maybe do it again. No. My mood boards. Obviously, you can see some famous actors, some famous films, the set of the films. Okay, competition. <clears throat> Obviously, the top three are Empire, Total Film, and Sci Fi Now. Obviously, Empire, they cover the biggest and best films that are put on the big screen, including interviews with the world biggest actors and actresses in the genre of film. Total film, they cover everything on big screen as well, from sci-fi to action. They give the lowdown on all the latest movies, updates and teasers and gossip, and obviously sci-fi now, which has exclusive content apparently you can't find anywhere. And that's it for now. Okay, well done. Okay, so, well done, Katie. Uh, I think in terms of your presentation, okay, there was a good um, and kind of engaging use of background imagery um, throughout. We did have a change of that towards the end, okay, so we want to make we want to make sure that we um, get that continuity all the way through yeah. um, and that your PowerPoint looks the same yeah. within every slide, okay? But there was clear links to science fiction, yeah. which ob obviously were gender specific. Uh, there was a clear purpose. So you started your presentation really effectively um, with good delivery. I feel that you're quite calm. Um, your voice projects really well um, and you're quite relaxed within your presentational style, which is good. Um, however, you need to maybe consider just turning slightly so that you engage yeah. us rather than just reading from there. And that will come with practice, okay? Um, there's some good use of terminology. However, maybe think about developing generic conventions and words that kind of clearly show off your knowledge of science fiction and what that means. Um, and little things like referring to audience rather than public, mass audience, things like that, okay? So that will just literally, as you go over your PowerPoint and maybe as you start to improve it, those things will trickle in and we'll definitely see that. Um, a few times you mentioned content, so maybe just consider the plate, like the order yeah, of your presentation. Yeah, I was going like to that, but... Okay, because we, we spoke about content, we moved on to something else and then we went back to content, okay? So that seemed a little bit strange. Um, 
However, we also need to maybe think about our target audience. On your slide said 18 plus, but you corrected yourself a couple of times saying 18 to 35. Just make it really clear on your uh, yeah. presentation. I only said that because you said to Jesus. Like, who are the, um, who are the age range? Who's the gender? What's our social economic group? So it's showing that you've got thought and you're considering quite clearly your target audience, okay? okay? Um, think about your use of images again. Um, obviously, you had the background image all the way through or predominantly through your PowerPoint, but is there anything else that could potentially um, kind of engage the audience whilst you're presenting and kind of show off some more ideas that you have um, I feel that parts, and as we got towards the end, parts of your presentation, so like mood board, um, we skipped quite quickly over them. So it might just be a case of spending a few more moments to just discuss some of the ideas, um, link a bit like what you did at the beginning, just spending an extra minute or so just saying these are the ideas, so there's clear clarity within what you're doing. Um, and just make sure that you kind of check your PowerPoint all the way through, okay? So there's not floating yeah. PowerPoints, things may be a little bit missing, um, and also check your spec, because there was a few yeah, yeah, along yeah. the way. Okay, did anyone have any questions? Okay, Roger.